Welcome back to Gin Reviews from South Florida. Tonight, we are going to go all the way to Japan. Japan. And we're going to be reviewing Raku, Roku, Gin. Jinjo! We're doing it. We're in Japan tonight. Now, I've heard this gin pronounced Roku, and it does look very familiar to my Roku, but Roku, I think, is to pronounce the correct way to pronounce it, so we're gonna kind of stick with that, and then we'll go from there. Uh, so, we are coming in at 43%. We are contemporary, and grain is used as our base, so you know what that means. Botanicals, Angelica, Cardamom, Cherry Blossom, Cherry Leaves, Cinnamon, Coriander, Green Tea, Juniper, of course, uh, Lemon, Orange, uh, Sansu, Sanshu, and uh, Yuzu. Uh, Raku means six. Uh, Suntory's take on gin is called six. After six uh, quintessential Japanese botanicals, firstly, there's Green Tea, Two Ways, cherry also two ways a blossom and leaves and then uh, yuzu and J uh, Japanese pepper <laughs> there's another eight traditional botanicals as well uh, bringing it to the grand total of 14 not bad as you can see this bottle has been popped already and it has been sitting on the gin shelf for a very long time um, but tonight's tonight I thought I would do just a little review on it let's go over some things See what I like, see what I don't like, and uh, hopefully, you know, inspire someone out there to do the same. So on the back of the bottle, crafted by Japanese artisans, Roku, 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 is a multi-layered, perfectly balanced gin, combining both traditional and six uniquely Japanese botanicals. And it has it right there on the back of the bottle, which I do love. Now this bottle is phenomenal, isn't it? I mean... You know, there was a house, I lived up in upstate New York and there was an octagonal house and everyone knew it as that. And that's what this reminds me of. It's just very cool. Um, even though this is not an octagon. But I digress. So Suntory uh, is the distillery here and we know Suntory from many, many, many other amazing gins we have done. Uh, established in 1899 in Japan. I love historical facts like that. All right, we are gonna open this bastard up here. Oh, here we go. We got one of these tonight, because I broke my other one. Mm. <clears throat> okay, let's do this right. Hmm. It is a very, very beautifully uh, aromad, um, aromatic gin. The botanicals are very pronounced. The, the juniper is right where you want it up front. Mmm, I could smell citrus in there. It's either lemon or orange, and it's probably both actually. Um, there is floral notes too, which I'm guessing is from the cherry blossom around those, uh, yeah. I would, I would think that would be that. Mm. It is a very, like I said, it's, a, it's very nice on smells alone. I mean, look at the legging on that. You know, sometimes a gin, the bouquet, is just not where you want it to be, you know? And it just kind of puts everything off. But this gin here, I've always thought this. It's so beautiful in a very delicate way. Salute. Mm -hmm. Yes. No. Wow. I'm getting hit by botanical after botanical. Okay. First, the 43%, it feels a little stronger than that. I've got to be honest. Um, but it's nothing too bad. The burn is there, but it's, yeah, it's nice. The juniper is definitely pronounced. It's right there where you want it to be for a nice classic gin for on the London Dry 
style. But this is definitely contemporary because the citrus notes are definitely popping before the floral and before the heat, which, you know, is usually like a Plymouth wood. Um, it is it is so smooth. It, it That's the great thing about this gin. It, it, it goes down so nice. It's kind of a problem though, <laughs> in that you can definitely get carried away with this gin and not realize that you had maybe five or six cocktails. And then that's when the room starts getting a little dizzy on you. So you have to be very careful with this. Um, this is one of those gins though that I definitely suggest to people that are out there trying gin for the first time or they're kind of getting into the whole game and they're thinking maybe this is something that they would like to, um, you know, pursue as maybe a hobby or even a career. It's one of those gins that you have to try and you should probably go out and buy a bottle of this, okay? It's not too expensive. Um, and then again, it's uh, not that cheap either. It's right in the middle. It's in uh, the 25 to $28 range. Um, but again, you are getting a product that is Really, it lives up to what it says. Now, I really, really love to drink this gin only one way, um, and that is with some, see the water in there? That's actually a little bit too much, so I'm gonna take that back. Mm-hmm, right there. I want ice and just a little water, and then that's how I drank it, like this. Don't get me wrong, this gin is really good in a tonic, a gin and tonic, and it is very good in a martini as well, but this is one of those gins, because it's so smooth, that it's really nice to just drink cold on the rocks. And to have a little bit of water in it actually brings out more of the botanicals that you don't taste on the initial neat shot, and you should be drinking your gin neat if you're opening up a new bottle for the first time, right? Good. Salute. Mm. Damn, is that good. Now, I don't do this for many uh, uncast gins out there. And the reason I do it with this one is because of those Japanese botanicals that I can't pronounce. <laughs> Okay, some of them are very citrusy and some of them are very peppery. And when you put the water and the ice mixed in with this gin, it brings them up into the forefront with the juniper and your and your floral uh, cherry notes that you're getting. It's just overall, it's a very nice gin. Um, again, though, there's only one problem I see with this gin is that the proof is... 43% and it is so smooth it shouldn't even be a problem but it is for me because I have gotten to that point where the room is starting to do this and that's never good and uh, you know I just thought I'd put that out there because I know everyone goes through their own thing and uh, it'd be nice if some people out there took advice don't go too heavy on this gin take it nice and light and you'll have a good night so from me to you to you to me to everyone here in the States in the middle, from sea to shining sea, I want to wish you, me, and everyone else a wonderful night, evening, and morning. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, if you like what you see and you're new, please hit the subscribe button. You know what everyone else says out there. Do me a favor. Do us a favor. Get these uh, reviews out there in the uh, mainstream so we can do more, 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 and more. And uh, until the next one, you bastards. Bye-bye.